Migrating your website is not for the faint-hearted. If you don't plan and execute it correctly, a lot of things can go wrong and cause you a ton of headache in the process. Thankfully, you're watching this video. That means you have the foresight to plan your website migration properly before you even start it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about all the steps you need to take or a complete checklist of all the things you need to do to plan your full site redirect or your website migration. Let's begin. Step zero or a prerequisite to this process is to start collecting data. And I mean all sorts of data that is important to you when it comes to your website. For example, I'd start collecting current performance numbers, current SEO rankings for all the important posts on my site, all the redirects I've created, any kind of changes that I've made to my theme, my website, any plugins I've installed, and all the other data that is important to me for my website. Once I have these numbers, these will serve as baseline numbers to benchmark my new website against once the migration process is complete. The first step in the migration process is that you need to set up a blank website with your new domain name. If you don't know how to set up a website, you can use the link in the description to sign up for Bluehost. Not only does Bluehost offer excellent service at affordable prices, but you'll also get a free domain name for a year. If you've already bought a new domain name, you can use it instead. Bluehost will also do the heavy lifting for you and set up WordPress for you. All you have to do is log in and start working on your new website. Once a new website is set up, it is important to keep it no index till all the content has been transferred. You can do this easily from inside the WordPress settings. Just follow what I'm doing on the screen right now. The next step in the migration process is to back up your existing website. Now you should be backing your website anyway, but this particular backup will be useful to transfer all the content from your existing website to your new website. If you don't know how to back up your website, you can use a fantastic plugin called Duplicator. The base version is free, but more than enough, and it will back up WordPress, your plugins, content, and everything else from your website quickly and easily. You can also check out the pro version in case you need any of the pro functionality. There's a link in this video's description where you can check out Duplicator and install it on your website for free. Make sure to complete the backup before heading to the next step. The next step in the process is to restore the backup that you just created to your new website. You can use the Duplicator plugin once again to finish this process quickly. Although the process is straightforward, it's a bit out of scope for this video. But if you want to understand the process in detail, leave a comment on this video and we'll happily create a dedicated video explaining how to use the duplicator plugin in detail. The next step in the process is to make all the appropriate DNS changes depending on what you're trying to do with your website. Let me explain. Depending on whether you're migrating hosts, domains or both, you'll need to make appropriate changes to your DNS. You might need to create, edit or delete A records, CNAME records, TXT records, or a combination of all these records. Since I don't know what specific use case you're working with, I'd suggest that you speak with your current hosting support and clarify with them what changes you'll need to make with your DNS. Once you've made all the DNS changes, they should start reflecting publicly in a few hours, depending on the configuration. You can use a website like dnspropagation.net to verify if all the changes have propagated fully. The next step in the process is to set up redirects from your existing website to your new website. Now, this is the most absolutely critical step and it has the potential to break your entire website and your website SEO, so pay attention. For the perfect migration, you need to set up redirects for every single link from your existing domain name pointing to the correct URL on your new domain name. Now, there are a variety of ways to do this, but the absolute easiest way is to use All-in-One SEO's Domain Redirection Manager. Instead of finding and redirecting hundreds or even thousands of links manually, you can just toggle a switch inside all in SEO and all your existing links are migrated to the new domain in just a second. It works like magic because it is. Another benefit of using all in SEO is that you can export all your current SEO settings in a single click and upload them to your new website. It'll make the process of setting up SEO on your new website effortless and instant. The next step in the migration process is to disable no index from your website. Now that we've migrated all the content and redirections to your new website, we should allow Google and other search engines to index your new website. To do that, we'll disable the no index toggle that we enabled in the first step. Once again, head into WordPress's reading settings from the main WordPress menu, scroll to the bottom of the page to find the toggle, disable it this time, and save your changes. Once you've done this, search engines will soon start to index your new website. The next step in the migration process is to double check your metadata and all your configuration. Even though you use the duplicate plugin to migrate all the data from your old website to your new website, and hopefully you also used All-in-One SEO's export and import feature to migrate or export your current settings from your old website to your new website, it's still a good idea to double check if all the data on your new website has been set up correctly. You should be checking all text for images, canonical tags, robots.txt, hflang data, schema data, and any other configuration change that you made to your old website. 
you should make sure that everything that you changed on the old website is also changed on the new website and everything works perfectly. The next step in the migration process is to set up Google Search Console, Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager on your website. Once you've made sure that all the important data from your old website has been migrated correctly, proper redirects have been set and all configurations have been correctly imported as well, you can set up Google Search Console to start collecting data about your new website. Setting up Google Search Console is very easy. Log into Google Search Console, add a new property, use the HTML tag method, and then use all-in-one SEO's integration to simply paste the HTML tag. It takes less than a minute and you'll start seeing data about your website in less than 48 hours. Once Google Search Console is set up, you should also set up Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. Instead of wasting time and doing these steps manually, use Monster Insights to set up Google Analytics perfectly on your website in a matter of minutes. Setting up Tag Manager is also easy if you use WP Code. It's free and instead of editing your WordPress theme files, you can just paste the Tag Manager code on your website once and it'll be perfectly set up on your website. The next step in the migration process is to perform an audit. Technically, the migration process is now complete, but you should be double checking everything to make sure everything is working as it should. That means you should be double checking all your plugins, your website functionality, redirects, pages, posts, everything on the new website should work exactly how it was working on the old website. You should also keep an eye on the crawling and error reports in Google Search Console to ensure there are no issues with your website. If you had a lot of redirects on your old website, instead of checking them manually one by one, you should use a tool like Screaming Frog Headmaster SEO or even the 404 monitor in all in SEO to keep an eye for unbroken links and redirects. The next and the last step in the process is to monitor your traffic and rankings in Google search. Now the migration process is officially complete. Congratulations. Now all you have to do is monitor your traffic and rankings to make sure that they reach the old levels. And if you did everything correctly as I just showed you in this video, then your traffic should be back up to the regular levels in less than two to three weeks. And that's it for this video. If you want to continue your WordPress education, check out these videos right here, I'll paste on the screen. You can subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a question in the comments. You're watching Yuvraj from WB Ghana, and I'll catch you in the next video very soon. Take care.